Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. I'm looking at myself. I've got horns growing out the side of my head. Anyway, enough of that. Um, very devilish. Uh, okay, Richardson Hitchens and Gustavo Lemos of Argentina. Hitchens from America. Um, although he did fight for, I think, Haiti in the Olympics. So I read, but... Uh, um, anyway, this is a 140-pound matchup, and it is... Um, it's an intriguing fight because you've got a guy who is very, very skillful in Hitchens, uh, boxes well, you know, does all has all the tools in the box, but doesn't have much power against Gustavo Lemos, who is um, a far more aggressive fighter and has, um, you know, I'd say better power, not necessarily one punch knockout power, but much better power. Hitchens has seventeen wins, um, seven KOs, no draws, no defeats. He's an orthodox fighter. Uh, Lemos, um, twenty nine. Wins with 19 KOs, no draws, no uh, losses. So it's a battle of unbeatens. Um, he's an orthodox fighter as well. He's uh, 28 years old. Lemos, like I say, from Argentina. Hitchens is 26. So you could say that, you know, Hitchens getting towards his prime, probably in his prime, maybe getting, you know, nudging, knocking on the door of the prime years. Lemos, probably as good as he's ever going to get. It's a 12 round fight. Um, it is intriguing because you have got this potential bull versus matador scenario, which is always a sort of staple in boxing. Uh, like I say, Hitchens Hitchens did box in the Olympics for Haiti. I think it was Haiti. And he, uh, I think this is because he couldn't make the cut for the American squad. Now, I don't follow amateur boxing um, nearly as closely as I do the professional game. It doesn't interest me. Unless someone says, look at this guy, he's really good. I won't necessarily bother that much. But there's no doubt Hitchens has got good skills. He was last seen against Jose Zapeda, winning virtually every round. Um, and Zapeda, of course, way past his best when they fought. Hitchens just did what he... He didn't seem to feel the need to put his foot on the gas. It was just a case of, I've got the skills, so I'll outbox you. But Zapeda looked old in that fight. He did look very, very old. And, and oh, there were just too many miles on the clock. Um, and Hitchens easily won it. He easily won it. And there's no shame in going the distance. I mean, it's... Okay, Dalton Smith knocked out Zapeda a couple of weeks ago, but so what? Um, some guys are punches, some guys are slicksters. If you win, you win. Um, and prior to that, he'd you know he'd had a string of good um, ten round decisions. Um, Malik Hawkins went ten. Um, Argenis Mendes, I think it was a split decision or, or a majority decision. That was a ten rounder. Um, John Bowser went ten. And these are all guys, I think Bowser was undefeated. These are all guys with good records. So we're talking a guy who has faced, you know, reasonable opposition. But don't forget that that 140 pound division is absolutely raging at the moment. You've got my favourite, Sabrell Mateus, I think a lot of people's favourites. You've had Pitbull just beat beat up Rowley. He's got a belt. Devin Haney, obviously. So we've got ourselves a very stacked division, very, very stacked division. Teofimo Lopez is another one. Um so you've got to look good and you're going to have to go some and being very good probably isn't good enough. You've got to be really excellent to dominate this division. I don't think anyone will dominate it, to be honest with you. I think it will be a round robin of A loses to B and then B loses to C and then A beats C, do you know what I mean? Um, or C beats A. But there's no doubt that Hitchens does. He is, he is slick. He is a very good fighter. Um, you can't really see any great flaws other than the lack of power. Now, if you look at Gustavo Lemos, um, Lemos, like I say, 29 wins and 19 KOs. He's, he's, I think he's spent almost all his career, if not all of it, in Argentina, which means that he's something of um, maybe not an unknown commodity, but we know less about him. I've certainly seen far more of Hitchens than I have of Lemos. <clears throat> but if you're a UK fan, you'll probably remember Lemos back in 2022 when he fought Lee Selby, the former IBF fly, uh, featherweight champ, who jumped up two divisions and was at the end of his career. And basically, Lemos beat the crap out of him um, in five rounds and stopped him. And that was in Argentina. And Selby retired after that. But Selby, you know, yeah, he stayed too long at featherweight. Why he didn't stop off at super feather, I don't know. Maybe he got an opportunity to jump to lightweight and couldn't turn it down. The money was too good. But um, he looked like he was just collecting paychecks. But if you take that name out, Selby, a, a former featherweight champ at the end of his career. There aren't really a lot of uh, people who are nudging world class in on uh, Lemos's record. And that's not to say he hasn't been facing good fighters, because 
some of the fighters he's faced have good records, um, but then they're unknowns. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad fighters. Because if you look at Mexico, is another another example of of a country that produces terrific fighters that no one's ever heard of. Hence the reason they they very often come over to the UK and beat up the local guy. Um, now, when you consider that Hitchens likes to box and is the matador, and Lemos is the 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 far more cavalier um, bull charging towards him. 12 round fight, 36 minutes of fighting. Lemos clearly has to make this, make it hot in the kitchen for Hitchens. Uh, get up close to him, let those punches go, work the body, slow Hitchens down. Hitchens definitely has the skills to, to contain Lemos, but the question mark is, does he have the power with only seven KOs? Um, and also, how good is... Lemos's chin. I mean, he's, it's probably not going to be tested by Hitchens because he just doesn't hit hard enough. Um, or how you could say, flip that on his head and say, how good is Hitchens' chin? We don't really know. Hitchens, I think, has faced the better quality of opposition. Uh, like I say, there's nothing really in it as far as age is concerned, at least not chronological age. But 29 fights compared to 17. I mean, it's 12 more fights, but at what level? Uh, will that make a different f- difference for Lamos? I don't think so, because if you look at Lamos's record, an awful lot of his fights are within three or four rounds. Uh, and I do worry for Lamos about the, the distance, the 12-round distance. Once it goes past six, what's, he, what's his gas tank going to be like? For all we know, it could be very good. You know, for all we know, he could collapse. We just don't know. But it, he's got to gamble. He's got to roll the dice and not be conservative in the early rounds and really pour it on Hitchens especially work in the body, especially the body. Um, Hitchens, for his part, has got to move, box on the back foot to start with, try and draw Lemos's sting, maybe make him fight at a pace he doesn't like, um, frustrate him with some skills, lots of lateral movement, maybe little semicircles just to keep him off balance, make him constantly reset. And then I think in the second half of the fight, perhaps Hitchens, having done the 10 rounds, um, a lot more will feel more confident at pulling away and you know basically beating up Lemos death by a thousand cuts rather than one punch knockout power um, as far as a prediction is concerned I see Hitchens winning this um, I see him winning it on points because of the question mark over Lemos's gas tank it's possible he could collapse in the late, later rounds maybe you know 10, 11, 12 but no I'm going to go for points I think Hitchens wins on points through sheer skills. He's just got better skills, better overall. Like I say, more tools in the Lephistic toolbox. Yeah. Um, and he knows how to use them. He knows, how, well, he knows which ones to take out of the toolbox at, at the right time. He's not really a, what you call a wasteful fighter. He doesn't throw punches just for the hell of it. So I think we're going to see a wide, unanimous decision for Richardson Hitchens over Gustavo Lemos. But it's an intriguing fight, and it will add to the mix of the 140-pound party because stacked division. Definitely, definitely, definitely a stack division. So if you've got comments, leave them below. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. Spread the word about Joe Stun and Boxing. You know, you know it makes sense. You know it makes sense. Come on. All right. Thanks a lot, guys and girls. See you later. Bye for now.